Hey everybody, so uh, this episode, getting to the end of the TV season, thought it'd be a good idea to talk about um, the television season that's been, um, and uh, start off with Breaking In, very sad to see that go, I actually like that show a lot, and uh, Michael Rosenbaum, one of the big reasons. If you take a look at him on this show, and then take a look at him on uh, Smallville, as Lex Luthor, like, the range is incredible, I'm really impressed with that, and uh, Christian Slater, I feel bad, because, I mean, I actually liked... Uh, my own worst enemy. I th thought it had a lot of potential, so again, can't seem to catch a break. Uh, one of the big surprises of the season was uh, Nikita. Now, when I heard the CW, of all places, was going to try to reboot Nikita, I thought this was going to be a total disaster. The most sort of fluffy network dealing with, you know, one of the most hardcore, you know, assassin shows. But they really uh, took the ball and ran with it. So, you've got... Um, Really tight plotting, really good um, uh, story structure, better, actually, I'd say, than most seasons of 24, to be honest. Um, and uh, a really great show all around, um, very impressed. One nice little fun thing at the end, I won't be too spoilery, but the season finale, you sort of get to meet this, you know, tight-knit cabal that sort of oversees everything. And, of course, Harris Eulen is one of the members. And it seems you can't actually have a tight-knit cabal without Harris Eulen as one of your members. So uh, he is the head of the Watchers Council on Buffy. He is part of that tight little cabal of evil judges running L.A. in uh, Training Day. Uh, basically, if you ever want, you know, if I wanted to actually start a cabal, like the first thing they'd ask me when I, you know, at the cabal registration, you know, office is, well, where's Harris Eulen? Have you got him? To, has he signed off on this yet? So... Hats off to him. And there's another cute little reference to uh, Nikita in that scene, too, but I won't spoil it for you. Just go watch the whole season, and you'll get that little treat at the end. Doctor Who actually starting its season now, and I haven't been in as much love with it as I was last season, but something really exciting is happening, and uh, Steve Moffat, the, the head writer for the show, is really taking it into very lost levels of complexity in terms of the plot which is kind of exciting, you know, Doctor Who's a bit more episodic, I mean, it has had story arcs, especially since the reboot, but this is a whole other level. Um, and while I'm a little nervous because I wasn't 100% happy with how Lost turned out, I really trust Steve Moffat with this. Um, I'm really curious to see where he takes it. I mean, I think, you know, next to Aaron Sorkin, he's probably the best writer on television right now. Um, so, uh, I'm very excited to see them take on that, you know, level of complexity and really curious to see where it all goes. You don't need me to tell you how awesome Game of Thrones is, but I'll say it anyway. Game of Thrones is amazing. Every, all the hype you've heard is absolutely true. And that's really all there is to say about that. Community, honestly, uh, is about this close to calling it my favorite show on television right now. Um, they came out strong second season, just as good as the first. They built on the, the meta, you know, I love meta, they built on the, you know, all the references to pop culture, the meta, you know, allusions to genre throughout the season. And the nice thing is they don't sort of just slap it on there and say, oh, we're going to do, you know, a Western, oh, we're going to do Die Hard, oh, we're going to do a zombie. They really make it a part of the story, they really make it a part of the character. They don't just slap it on top, and so it makes it that much stronger. Um, I want to talk about Fringe for two reasons. One, Anna Torv. Oh, holy crap. She, uh, without getting too spoilery, she basically plays three different characters this season. Um, and she does it very well. Just the fact that she takes that on, I think, deserves an Emmy nod. I mean, Emmy's pretty, you know, hinky about sci-fi, but it would be it would be a shame if she didn't at least get some kind of recognition for that. Um, the plot itself, I mean, basically season two ends with something that could, you know, I expected just to sort of be resolved, you know, season three, episode one. They carried this thing out through the entire third season and became, like, a, almost a different show. Um, but a great show. Um, and now, at the end of this season, they throw another curveball, which honestly could mean season four will suck or will be amazing. I honestly don't know which yet. Um, uh, the other reason I wanted to bring up Fringe is a little announcement. So there is going to be an anthology of uh, essays about Fringe written by sci-fi writers and scientists and stuff. I'm actually going to be in that anthology. So I'll leave the information about where you can pre-order it uh, down here somewhere. Um, but uh, very excited about that. Wanted to let you all know. So the other thing that happens about this time of year is um, uh, my wife and I, uh, when the summer comes along, no new shows to watch for the most part. So we pick a show that we've been meaning to catch up on that people have been telling us is really good, and we just catch up on that. We get all the DVDs and just catch up on it. So we did that for like Battlestar Galactica and How I Met Your Mother and Dexter. So uh, the ones we're looking at this uh, summer are um, maybe... Uh, we haven't decided yet, but we're thinking about um, maybe Modern Family, 
maybe Parks and Rec, maybe Breaking Bad. Anyway, uh, tell us what you think. Um, let me know what you think I should catch up on, um, what great show I should really get into that I'm not into already, and um, or which of those three you think I should, I should uh, watch. Um, and I'll let you know which one we pick. In the future, if we ever go to trial again, maybe we ought to know what we're doing.